So let's talk about the volcanicity. Uh, volcanicity refers to the rising of the molten rock or magma or other gaseous material beneath the earth's crust, forcing it away into the plains of the witnesses or vent of the earth's crust to escape quietly or explosively to the surface. So when this uh, molten rock or magma or other gaseous material that are under the is as closely into the fence of the vent or exclusively to the surface, so to call volcanicity. Uh, so when the rising of the molten rock or magma is exclusive to the surface, then it gets to be volcanicity. So I hope you see there there's a difference between volcanicity and volcanicity. Uh, specifically, volcanicity takes place inside or the interior of the earth is cast while volcanicity is specifically out or out or explosively out to the earth surface. You know, you see type of, uh, types of volcanicity. Uh, there are two types of volcanicity. The first one is the intrusive volcanicity. The second one is ex explosively volcanicity. So let's start with the intrusive, that is the interior volcanicity. Uh, this occurs when this uh, magma cools and so divides or forms features within the earth's crust before it reaches the earth's surface. So the features uh, or landforms formed by this process are sometimes termed as the intrusive or internal features. So let's see some of them. The first one is like uh, like this is a wall like a feature cutting across the bedding planes. So, so it is from when the magma goes or solidifies the vertically across the bedding plane. The second one is seal. Uh, this is an intrusive feature which arises horizontal along the bedding planes. So it is from when the magma goes or solidifies horizontally along the bedding plane. The other one is a lacolith. Uh, luckily, this is an intrusive feature which looks like a dome. It is formed when the magma cools or solidifies anti climb building plane. So that's how the lapolith is formed. Uh, the other one is a lapolith. Uh, lapolith, this is a, an intrusive feature which looks like a saucer and ship. Uh, it is a, formed when the magma or molten rocks cools and it solidifies it in the sand climbing building plane. So that's how the lapolith looks like. It is in saucer shape and is formed like that. The other one is the batholith. Uh, the other one is this but this is a very large mass of magma, which cools and so devices in the earth's uh, it is sometimes it forms it, the root and the core of a mountain. So these batholiths are made up of granite and they form the surface features only after they've been exposed to the earth's surface by validation. Moving on, the last one is a lapolith. This is a, a densely shaped mass of igneous rock. It is formed when the magma cools also because anticline and synclinic in the folded rocks. So lapolith, uh, it is both, it is both anticline and synclinic in the folded rocks. Let's see the exclusive features. Uh, these features are from the old and the modern rocks which is the surface of the earth. So when the magma images at the surface, this is what is called the lava. And the, this type of volcanic research in the exclusive features is that are uh, resulting from the process of volcanic. So such an example of such features include the volcanoes, bronze, craters, and the so let's see one of them, each one of them, starting with the first one, acidic lava cone. Uh, this is a cone made of this coaster. So it's normal, it's normal lava cones that will be high case and depend to the small fragments. So the acidic lava cones is the main ground, which is the best lava cone. Basically, of the lava. So, you know, uh, normally this 
the wrong distance. The airline is actually in Singapore. Uh, this is the only couple who actually in the same setting. That is the only one who is in the same So the source of the only one who is in the same setting is this. So there are no different things to me in this country. Ceases and leaves a hole in the basic lava form. So that's how data are formed in the sea. This is the volcanic plan. Uh, this is the like the big globe, big, big globe which adds or blocks the top of the pipe. So it is formed when the lava so it quickly to block the pipe. So that's how volcanic plan is formed. The other one is the composite cone. Uh, this is the type of cone which is formed. Of alternate layers of ash and the lava. So it begins, uh, the volcano begins its eruption with great violence, forming a layer of ashes as the eruption proceeds with the violation uh, ceases and the lava pours out, forming the layer on top of the ash. So that's how composite cone is formed. You see the caldera. The caldera is the large depression on top of the volcanic. So it is from the when the composite can explode. So violently that it the stop is blown off and it is it's into a mass of rocks and the ashes leaving the crater greatly enlarged. So this is huge crater like depression is what we call the caldera. So sometimes the caldera can be filled with water from a caldera lake. The other feature is the uh, Jesus and the hot springs. Uh, Jesus refers to the forceful, forceful emission of hot water and the steam from the ground to higher level in the air. So it is a ejected water that it may contain in these finding materials such as volcanic mud, which is later form the form the tight soils. Uh, the hot spring this refers to busy natural outflow for separated water from the ground. It contains a minimum substances in its solution. And the last landform that we're going to see in this explosive volcanicity is a lava plateau. Uh, this is the, an extensive ND flat landform, which is from between the mountain ma magma flows onto the apex classes for the fissure. So that's how the lava plateau is formed. Okay, it's clear, guys. Thank you for listening.